Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a little bit of a different spot today um, because where I usually film is in front of my bookcase but I'm reorganizing my bookcase so it's an absolute disaster. So I thought you could look at my Great Gatsby poster for just the intro because we are going to be moving over to my writing area and I just wanted to make a quick intro for a couple of things. One, hi my name's Allison for everyone new here and two is that I am trying a new upload schedule this week. I My work schedule has kind of thrown my YouTube game off. So I'm trying a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule right now. If I hate it, I will go back to my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Uh, but this is just a trial for this week and I'll let you know how it goes, if I like it better, all of that jazz. But I'm going to move right into my writing desk and also don't forget I am hosting a giveaway right now for 300 subscribers which we actually have passed now which oh my gosh I can't believe we passed we're going to be at 400 subscribers and I'm going to be doing another big giveaway very soon I feel like so go ahead and head over to that video and find out how you can win some really cool bookish prizes after this video I will put it in the iCard and yeah, let's just head over straight into where I write all my stories. So this is my writing desk. This is where all the magic happens. And by magic, I mean writing. Uh, yeah, there's no magic happening over here. but I wanted to show you what my writing desk had on it and just some different things that I like to keep on my writing desk because uh, I always find it really interesting what other people have on their desk so I wanted to show you all the things on my writing desk. The first thing is obviously my computer which is a 21.5 Mac computer. I really wanted a desktop computer. I also still have my laptop, but I don't use it as much unless I'm going out of the house to write in coffee shops or do homework, but I love, I love my Mac. Um, it was a really big investment for me, but I really do love this thing. Now I'm gonna bring you vlog style over here uh, so you can see what is actually on my desk. So over here in this corner, the first thing I have is this just printout that I got in a set of like, a hundred printouts and I really like this one because it was a typewriter and it said you're just my type on it um, so I hung it in this just matte black frame and I hung it over here and I really really love it next thing I have a bunch of pens and pencils and scissors just in this mason jar that's glittered that I made myself and I love it dearly it's one of my favorite things that I have um, I know a lot of people think having like mason jars and stuff is like a really weird thing but I'm southern so everything goes in the mason jar and if it doesn't it shouldn't be in a container. The next thing I have over here is a little cactus like pouch and it has more pens and pencils and highlighters. These are mostly the ones that I use um, and I like to take to school and everything. Um, I have some paper mate pens. I have my favorite pins which are the G2 Pilots um, and then I just have a bunch of colored highlighters that I can use in my stories. And then right here I usually keep a couple things. I have my uh, book proof. This is Dark Radiance currently going through that. Then I have this notebook which has just a bunch of like notes of to do things. Mostly my homework like this is my weekly homework for this week that I need to get done and I love this notebook for that because I'm a list person. And then the next thing I have is my calendar which is a cactus calendar and I love it so much. Look how cute it is. Um, and I just put all of my things in. Obviously this is changed but it's fine. I didn't change it on my calendar but I keep that over here because I'm always reaching for my calendar. And then underneath my computer, it has like this little ledge and I keep things in it. First thing I have is this Atrix Intensive um, like lotion in chamomile. My mom's really good friend Anne got me this in 
Germany, I think, and she brought it to me, so I use it. I have an EOS lip balm that's like the crystal one, and I just keep it there. Then I have this two-in-one lip scrub that I got for Easter, and it just has a lip balm on it and a lip scrub up top, which I don't really use, but I like to have it. And then I have this nail polish. This is Essie Ballet Slippers. Yeah. And I love this nail polish when I do do my nails and have like fake nails on. This is the color I'm always wearing just because it goes with everything. And then, oh, I have the Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glue. This is the best nail glue if you do your nails at home. Um, your nails will not come off unless you like rip them off um, on accident. And I just, I love this nail glue. And then I have a glasses cleaner for my glasses and then right here this is a thing for my ring light that doesn't work with my camera so i don't use it but it's just sitting on my desk because i have nowhere else to put it and then right here i have my blue light glasses like i was saying they're just glasses you wear to protect you from blue light rays so like right now you can see my ring light um and when i look at my computer it's just to protect your eyes if you work on the computer a lot. I got mine from Amazon for like 12 bucks. I don't know if they really work, but I think they're cute and they kind of look like Harry Potter glasses. So I think they're cute. And over here I have this coaster for when I have drinks that sweat because I don't want to ruin my <laughs> desk because I have ruined furniture with drinks that sweat. Um, so I have this for when that. And then this is my drink. I love coke zero vanilla cokes these are my obsession right now um but this is a like cup warmer so you just press this it's not plugged in and this will glow red and then you put your cup on it and it keeps your coffee warm so it was mickey mouse themed i had to have it and then let's go above my um desk this says may I have not changed it. It's almost July. I know I need to do it, but I haven't had anything to put on like my big calendar lately, but I do have a large calendar that goes above my uh, desk so I can look up and see, but I haven't had to. I have a map of the Red Queen land and it's signed by Miss Victoria Aveyard herself. I really look up to Victoria Aveyard in her writing style and I just think she is awesome so I hung it up there because I wanted it to be pretty and kept nice. Um, one day I might change it and put it somewhere else but for right now it's right there so the queen can look down on me and I can be able to uh, write like her one day. And then moving down I have two shelves right here um, and then a little spot next to it um, that I keep things in. First I have my backpack right here which I'm not using currently because I'm out of school and then my laptop case again I'm not in like going to school right now and then I have my um, Mac mouse which I like the Mac mouses don't get me wrong it's covered in dog hair that's embarrassing um, but they don't say charged as much as my other mouse I have up there and it's been having problems on my like mouse pad so I need to find a mouse pad that works with it right now I'm not a big fan of it Right here I have this Bath and Body Works like container and inside of it it has all of my dry erase markers in there so I can keep track of them and my dog does not use them because she loves pens. And then up here I just have some notebooks. I have this one that says hello. I have a notepad with like a to-do list on it. I have this notebook that I keep YouTube ideas in. This is a school notebook, and then this is my Dark Radiance notebook that has all of the world in it. I'll open up and show you a little bit because it's not really spoilery. Um, like right here it says, Cast is an angel who fell in love with a demon. Um, Christopher Poindexter, that is the quote right before the first prologue chapter starts. And then up here it has a novel guide, which I would love to make one day to show you guys maybe on my website um a novel guide to dark radiance because there's a lot of characters and the world is kind of complicated so i would like to make that one day then down here i have my headphones for my phone so i don't lose them and then i have a entire basket full of just pretty much junk 
Um, I have papers from school. I have a notebook down here. I have another notebook, another notebook. I have a dry erase marker and a stapler because you never know when you're going to need to staple something. And that is my writing space. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to see your writing space. If you do do videos, let me know down below where you write and also if you're going to do a video like this so I can go and watch it. I would love to see it. I'm always really curious, like I said, about people's writing spaces and how like they like to have it. Oh, I didn't mention my desk is a home, Better Homes and Gardens desk, which so is my bookshelves. I love Better Homes and Gardens stuff um, and they're both from Walmart. So I love it. My chair is from, I didn't know if I showed my chair, but my chair is from um, American Home Warehouse, which I bought it and I love it. It's just so cute and it's comfortable and I, I can't ask for anything else. So that's it for this video, y'all. I will see you next time in my next one. Bye.